things, but I'm going to start with Skip on this one. Thank you. What do you make <laughs> of all this? Over here. As soon as I read this last <laughs> night, I sat back and I said, here we go again. Why would Bill Belichick strike up this relationship I mean... with a hot young head coach with a team going into the year that everybody thought had a great shot at making it to the Super Bowl? And I thought, you know, once again, I do not trust Bill Belichick. Oh, my. God. I remind everyone at the trade deadline, two deadlines back, <laughs> Bill Belichick got overruled. He got ordered by Robert Kraft to trade the young quarterback he had groomed to be the next Tom Brady, Jimmy Garoppolo. And what did he immediately do? He called his other young protege head coach, Kyle Shanahan. He loves him some Kyle because yep. he loved him some Mike. Yep. And he said, have I got a deal for you? I'm going to give you Jimmy Garoppolo, who's going to be really good, for only a second-round draft pick. And Kyle and John Lynch were like, really? You're going to give for just a two? That's all we have to pay? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll take that deal. Right. And I think he gave away Jimmy Garoppolo out of spite. And then we got to last year's Super Bowl. And what happened right on cue? What happened? Malcolm Butler, who played the most defensive snaps the whole year on the Patriots defense, played zero defensive snaps in the Super Bowl. It was mysterious. It was inexplicable. And it was bottom line suspicious to me. And I told you, I invented a new word for it. It felt a little sabotage to me <laughs> because it felt like Bill Belichick out of spite saying, OK, you made me trade my quarterback. Watch what I'll do to you in the Super Bowl. Stop it. I won't play my best quarterback, and I'll let the backup quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles torch my defense for 41 points, and we'll lose 41 to 33. Take that, Mr. Kraft. Wes might have threw right? 500. Okay, so now he's befriended Sean McVay, and they're going up against each other in the Super Bowl. It just makes me suspicious, like, would, would he really, would it hurt him to lose to Sean McVay? Not really, because if there's one coach he could pick to lose to in the Super Bowl, he would probably be the guy that he now takes no. pride in in helping grow as a head coach. Losing in that am game. Am I right? Losing in that I game I am hurt. right no. about that. No. Yes, no. I am right <laughs> about this. Losing in that game and hurts. I, I am very suspicious. I'm waiting for the other cleat to drop here because okay. I'm just waiting for, I don't know, Stephon Gilmore to get mysteriously benched before the game. How do you explain that? Yeah. And I just to, to finish this off, I got to, this is Malcolm. Malcolm Butler last year, the day after the Super Bowl, posted on Instagram, during Super Bowl week, I never attended any concert, missed curfew, or participated in any of the ridiculous activities being reported. Why were they being reported? Were they being leaked from... The you know what, Skip, know. stop now. And he said, they're not only false, but they're hurtful to me and my family. And guess who liked that post was Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. He should Big old like, big old heart like. Well, Malcolm Butler saved yeah. his legacy uh, with that yeah. in the end zone. Uh, he should, li why he should like that. anything Malcolm Butler do. Yeah, so I am... Officially suspicious. My antenna are way up on this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, antenna. Yeah. Yeah. You make it seem as if he's texting Mike Tomlin, someone that's in the AFC, or Andy Reid. He's texting a young guy who's young enough to be his son, and he's texting him, bro, y'all looking good. Mm. Y'all got a good squad mm. going to keep it going. Mm. Maybe we'll see each other down the road. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But it's a new era. Mm. I get it. Man, do you think... Lombardi would have done this to with, with Coach Hallis and, and Tom Landry would have texted Don Shula? Mm. Absolutely not. It's a new way of thinking, Skip. Really? You can be friendly, you can be friends, and still be hell of a competitor. Mm. Yes. This notion that I got to hate you and it's got to be the Russians against the Americans mm. every time we do battle, that's ridiculous. That's so ridiculous. Mm. That is so, so utterly ridiculous. Mm. I don't know who, who thought of that, but it's ridiculous, mm. first of all. Second of all, Skip Bayless, why do you make a mountain out of every <laughs> anthill? It's nothing. W was that an anthill that Malcolm Butler didn't play a snap? That's that got nothing to do with Malcolm How Butler. Did, wait a second. How did Bill Belichick get away with that? It's because he's the genius, and everybody said, well, I guess he's got a reason for this. Well, the same reason. Like what reason? The same Seriously. Well, had they won, we would have all been saying that. Oh, oh, oh great so decision. Eric Rowe was a better matchup for the. Stop it. Size-wise, I mean, I, Greg, we all were looking Greg, like do possibly. You, do you remember when? They played when they played uh, Seattle. Kyle Larrington. He put inserted yes. Malcolm Butler. Ma Nobody. Yep. I can't believe he did this to Kyle yep. Larrington. Okay. Kyle that Larrington. Was, wait, 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 wait. That was pre Jimmy Garoppolo trade deadline. All of a sudden, Belichick changed. 
He got his power taken away from him. Am I right? Coach Bel- Who won that battle? Tom Brady won that battle. I believe Coach Belichick will always, even though we might not agree with the moves that he makes or the decisions that he makes, mm. I oh, I believe wholeheartedly Mm. that Coach Belichick will always do what's in the best interest of the team. Mm. And I believe he honestly felt Mm. that Eric Rowe gave them a better chance to win, especially against who, Skip? Alshon. Mm. The matchup, a big Eric Rowe, 6'3", 205, 210-pound corner against 6'3", 6'4", Alshon. Mm. How'd that work out for you? I I think he thought the matchup would be better uh, because of the support in the system that he has in place. I don't know if he thought... I I do think he was trying to prove a point to uh, Malcolm Butler. But when it comes to this, Skip, come on, man. Mm -mm. (laughs) I said it the day after the game, and I'm not backing off. It's just like a player's fraternity. There's a such thing as a coaching fraternity. And you, mm. you have to understand, like, think about who Sean McVay is. He's one of the most authentic, likable young coaches in our league, in the sport, in sports, yeah. mm-hmm. where he is going to give respect mm-hmm. and people are going to be willing to give him respect because he's so uh, honorable. He's, he's such a guy. When he came in last year uh, on Sunday for this, one of the Sunday shows, he was so excited to be here talking about Michael Vick and how he watched it. He knew everything about me. He just one of oh, those guys. So that's how he so, won you over. No, no, no. no. It's, it's his authenticity. Okay. And so yeah. do you not think mm-hmm. when they first met or they first sat down and started talking at the NFL Combine, he wasn't praising Bill Belichick? That makes any man feel good. Mm-hmm. That makes yeah. any human being feel good. And like Skip Bayless always say, keep your enemies closer. Mm-hmm. Isn't that what you tell me what LeBron do? That's how he befriends everybody? Friends, so maybe Friends close, enemies yeah. close. Yeah, so maybe... You know, he's keeping his enemy close. Yeah, that was, just, is that what you're saying? Yeah, all I know is what did Spygate prove to us all? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, Bill Belichick has some scoundrel yeah. in him. Am I right? But Bill Belichick... Not to be trusted. But here's the thing, though, Greg. If I'm not mistaken, the guy that benefited the most from Spygate wasn't Bill Belichick. <laughs> 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 well, he was did, dealing... Did he cheat? I, no, he didn't well, cheat. I'll, hold on. Mm. What did I say? I could have... Hold on, mm. Shannon. What did you just say? What? Repeat what you just said, Shannon. Mm. You want me to repeat again, Shannon? Yes, mm. I do. Oh, you're talking to your alter ego? Yeah. The guy that benefited the most from Spygate wasn't Coach Belichick. Yeah. I'm just saying, Coach Belichick doesn't play quarterback. Give me one valid reason for Malcolm Butler playing zero snaps. If, if he'd played ten I, snaps, you can't. I, you just can't. No, we, I can't. It was just wrong. I, I, and I'm, I'm with you there. Thank I think you. that I think that there should have been... He could have done and handled that differently. Right. But he was on his high horse. I don't think at all he felt like it was jeopardizing their no, opportunity to I don't think win. He, he, mm. I don't think he ever gave it a second thought. No. We're going to lose this game if I no. don't play Malcolm Butler. He gave up 41 points. Yeah. That's the genius Belichick. Y'all go with Belichick. I'm watching closely this time. I'm seeing <laughs> what schemes. I don't know. I'm I'm watching substitution patterns. So did, so I'm seeing what's Do you what's think his happen. relationship or him texting uh, Sean McVay is showing a sign of weakness or a sign of endearment to say, you know what? I wouldn't mind you winning. I wouldn't mind you beating then, me in the Then Super he can Bowl. take some credit for his win, right? Well, if you don't mind. Because he's his mentor. So let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. Is there, is there, uh-huh. Hey, is there, any people, is, is, this, any, is there any people in this business that you text? Text? Yeah. Few. So oh, oh, what a minute! You sabotage and skip and Shannon. Don't, I don't compete against <laughs> that. No, no, no. That's a little that, sabotage. That, that little I sabotage. I compete against I that. I know that's why I wasn't getting to my threshold of where mm. I needed to be. Mm. You sabotaging us. Mm. You see, I don't sabotage. I just beat you every you day. You don't beat nothing. Like I'm competing is you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're the guy I'm not going to text with, right? Uh, yeah. you know, you, I'm not going to give away anything. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Right? You know what? I noticed Although that. Although I text you to set you up. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, it's always butter you. Up, I yeah. always know there's something. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm reading this. I'm like, yeah. oh, something, so something that's to this. Exactly. Set you yeah. up. Yeah, yeah I know. A little sabotage you, you over here. You gotta think second level here, third yeah. level, but, right? Skip. Hmm? Will you stop? I'm Co- not gonna Coach stop. Coach Belichick wants to I win. I am watching closely. Coach Belichick wants Something's to win. Something's going now. on here. Ain't nothing going yeah, on. Do you think Bill Belichick he wants Tom Brady to win another Super Bowl? Yeah, absolutely. He on that sideline coaching that Exactly. Skip, you can have more than one friend. You know what? I mean, 
Ernestine wants you to have more than one friend. Yeah. You're not intimidating. Yeah, er Ernestine says she's tired of being your only friend. Really? Either yeah, way. that's what she said. I'm she not sure that. Belichick that's was happy. Truth, and you know, and all you this still in the doghouse without what you put. I, you have no idea how do deep it. that doghouse is. It's so deep, I'm in the dark in the back of the doghouse. I can help you later. Tell me what are you doing? Ideas later. Great.